What's going on, people? Fame Entertainment here from TICGN.com. Welcome to episode 26 of the Double XP Podcast. My apologies that we are uh, 17 minutes late. Uh, I am, I guess I'm on CP time, but not really because I was sitting in traffic for two hours. But I ran and I ran and I ran to make sure I got here so we can have a show for you guys today. Uh, we're going to start with the introductions. Uh, as usual, I'm going to start with my light-skinned brother from somebody else's mother, Mr. Nicodemus X. Yo, what is good? It's Nicodemus, the king of indies himself. And it's good to be here once again. Tonight, I'm ready to go. I'm sorry you had to send traffic for two hours, bro. I know how that is. Bro, it sucked. Mm. Mm. Pure. It was two wrecks on the highway, and I I, got, I ran right into both of them. Man. My life, right? Yep. <laughs> Next up, we got my right hand, one man, Miss 2v1 herself, Mama Sita. Hi. Hey, everybody. It's Mama Sita, and um, I'm fired up, and I'm ready to go, y'all. Yeah. yeah, this is Mama Sita, and y'all can catch me on Twitter. Uh, let's see, I think I'm Classic Gamer Girls on Twitter. Classic Gamer Girls 2015 on YouTube. Mama Sita 925 on um, Xbox Live, and guess what? I'm Mama, to Mama Sita 42 on PSN. So, um, yeah, I'm ready. And, um, oh, fellas, I need to do a check. I need to do a booty check. Nobody but her tonight, right? <laughs> <laughs> a booty, a booty check, really? I'm doing booty a booty check. check for the fellas, not 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 the guests, but my co-host. Y'all, uh, y'all, I, I got your a couple. Of, ain't I, here, right? I got a couple of years before I need the booty check. Okay, no, I'm now, just making now, sure. Just recently, I, I made some other people's butt hurt. Um, some type of legion or legion or no. waxing or some 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 trash people. I got them all butt hurt. Yeah, yeah, y'all got to stop that, man. It was, region, stop it, was, it was a region of the PlayStation Nation or something, right? A region of the a region. Exactly. Like, like the side where they too poor for uh PS Plus. Something yeah, like I, I heard they're I heard they're run by a bunch of um. They're either run by midgets or or, or fat white guys. <laughs> This is double XP, yeah. guys. <laughs> yeah, so, next up, we got my girl Crunk. Listen, I told y'all before, you ain't finna mess with Crunk when I get in that work. That's our girl, Crunk girl. What's happening? What's happening, man? Like, I don't know what it is. It be the main, the, the nutrients that always, I don't know, man, but it is what it is. Like I told Cats, man, if I, if, if, if I don't say nothing to you and you don't say nothing to me, we'll be fine. Will be good. <laughs> like it's it's not that hard. But anyways, man, forget all that, that negativity and stuff like that, man. It's always a positive vibe over this way. Um, it's good to be back. Talk about some video games and some stuff that actually matters. We fighting this invisible war over some fucking plastic. No, stop it, man. Like nobody cares. Like this stuff is so juvenile. It's crazy. But yeah, I'm ready to talk about some games and some stuff that actually matters. <laughs> Next up, we got uh, you guys. He was, we had him on last week, and a lot of you guys made the horn from the uh, Weapon Wheel podcast gaming challenges. We got Mr. Gamer Lives Matter. What's happening, my dude? Yeah, I was to- I was told the next time I come over here, I better have an intro or something like that. So I got one. <laughs> All right. Hey, can y'all guys? Can y'all hear me? We can hear yeah, you, BFG. We, yeah, I can hear okay. you, ten point brother. <laughs> we, we can hear you, <laughs> buddy. Right, yeah, good, good, good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, what's up, y'all, man? I had to fix my sentence and hangouts, man. It was crazy. Nah, oh, you too. You. Yeah, Go well, on. back yeah, back to my intro. I do it for <laughs> the gaming community. <laughs> <laughs> this game of life matters. I do it for the gaming community. There All right, there, there, we, there we go. There we go. And then next up, we got we got a fan favorite. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he got the, the coldest, the coldest intro <laughs> on YouTube. BFG, what's happening? Man, what's going on? Salute. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, BFG, and the place to be, commentating and navigating on these YouTube streets, man. Oh. Keeping it 100, because that's all I know how to be. Man, I'm glad to be here today, man. Nice panel. It's good to see you guys. Let's talk about these games. All so, right. And for those of you who are too. watching, please, <laughs> please, I'm quite sure folks thought we might have canceled the show, because we're normally on time, which is weird for, for um, Majority oh, African American cast, or all black cast, for us. Right. We normally on time, but not I today. You so guys are watching. Yeah. Make sure you guys share out the link. Let people know that we are live and good. Right. 
to go. Oh, make sure I share this out. Yeah, I'm about to, to. Oh yeah, before we start, shouts out to my boy Tony, man. He had to redo a whole another Twitter handle because somebody hacked his page and he literally oh, took man. it off. And he, but he just, he, I just saw Che Twitter and he finally got it back. So shouts out to my boy Tony, um, out here repping for the the journalists, the black journalists out there. The tops are not black, the Italian journalists out there. Um, but yeah, shouts out to him because that's crazy. Like how somebody hack your shit, man? Like. That much hate for a person they got to hack your Twitter page. Also, um, before we get started, let you guys know I know we've been on hiatus since April 27th, I believe, but TICGN.com is back up and running. We know we know that's our favorite website. We know, we know, we know y'all we our favorite website, and you know, you guys love to come and read our content, but we are back up and running. Sorry for the wait, we apologize, but you guys can go back to getting all your gaming news from TICGN. Dot com. So let's go ahead and start this thing off with the first thing we have in the title. Uh, we know E3 is, what, four weeks away? It's right around the corner, and everyone's super excited for this. And so I posed um, something for you guys to do. I need one bold E3 prediction. doesn't matter the, the, the console, the company. I need one bold E3 prediction and why you think so. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, shoot. One both. Y'all just not thinking about this. Y'all had the y'all had these topics. Oh, right. no, 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 that's a that's a good topic. Oh yeah, that's a really good topic, fam. Well, How'd you come up with that one? that's so. Sweet. Hey, y'all, check this out. A, a new Vita. Sony gonna drop a new Vita, and they gonna drop the PS PS Cinco. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, man. You are my twin brother, because that was my damn answer. <laughs> they gonna drop a new video watch. Damn, he took my answer. That's what I was going to say. They, gonna, they come back for the handheld. That wasn't my bowl, but yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, like, they come back for the handheld. I and I think I think they're gonna announce. Uh, they I may think, announce a new system. I, I think. Uh, I think they should come out with a new Vita. I've been saying this that the I felt like the Vita, the first Vita. It came out at the wrong time. It did. If it would have came out a little later, it would have been. Yeah. It would have been. The PS3 wasn't part. It, it wasn't strong enough to handle. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. Now, I think when it comes to handhelds, I think the Switch has kind of set the standard. We want quality AAA games on our handhelds. Yeah, like, exactly. And not, and not streaming from you know you know I, I know how the the Vita can stream from the PS4. No, we want. Well, that joint looks cracked though, man. But, but for it, for you to do it, and it does it seem. Yeah, thing. it does. But I, I think people right, want I, their their PlayStation library to go with. I think the yeah. Switch has kind of set the standard for that. But I think but that, I think I but, think that PlayStation is gonna come with that though. But I think Vita can do other things too. Though. PlayStation do be copycat. Because the thing the thing about no, because you can't say that. Because <laughs> if you want to say that, then you might as well say the. Uh, oh, they all do it. I'm the PSP. The PSP had AAA games on it. I had it when yeah, it first yeah. came out. The PSP you know did. What I'm saying? Yeah. It had AAA games I had, and I had every game for the free. I ain't gonna front. Oh, that no, PSP. No. Yo, cats was getting games for that PSP dog and one pan of dime. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, Penny. Oh yeah, it was popular yeah. though. Like it was still popular when the Vita came out over there. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to let that PSP go. Yeah, I had every color. I was walking around around my neck. I had the red, white, and blue around my neck like I was Kurt Angle. Yeah, I had every <laughs> fucking color. I didn't give a fuck. You know what, though? I think the Vita. It, if they do, do it too, because they already done let uh, let it go that there's a what you call it when they put up bills out of it where it's like uh. Oh, what you call it? Ah, uh, well, you you have to put in with the federal government and all that stuff. Like we know yeah. one that they've been building on one. Right. We, we mm -hmm. just don't know. Like they they got concepts for it, and we already. Mm -hmm. I forgot what you call it when you publish something. You may not use it right then and there, but um, uh -huh. I got a feeling we're gonna see one again because the the PS4 oh, okay. is, is 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 the PS4 is made for a new year. Yep. Because if, if for people who already had a Vita and you tried it with your PS3 and then you tried it with your PS4, it works seamlessly with the PS4. Mm -hmm. Now, I've only got one question. Like, anybody have any problems with the remote play on there? Because that's my biggest issue. Like, yeah, I, know how I, put, I, I know how I put the hotspot on my Nintendo Switch and, it, it you know, it runs good. You know, it ain't no really lag online or nothing. But when I try to remote play back to my uh, PS4, which I got my PS4, you know, hardwired to the, right. my internet service, and it, and you know I got top speed, you know what I'm saying, the best you can get, fiber optic, 
And then, you know, I'm trying to, you know, like bounce off of something else. I still have problems. Which I mean, do anybody else have those type of problems? Which PS4 you got? Huh? You got the Pro or the, the Day One? I got both of them. Oh, okay. Cause you know the day one, the uh, the what is it? The wireless card in that joint is 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 ass. Yeah, it's trash. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say nah. the one, like the one okay. I got, the one I got, the, the wireless trash. card is trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got the pro, okay, but I, I I remote play to the pro. Oh, okay, okay. Well, and I still have those issues. I okay, I have a I have a really bold prediction for E3. We ready? Okay. It's, gonna be, it's gonna be some sexual. We ready? It it is not. <laughs> See, you know what? That's not right. You know that, right? See, you know what I learned from last week is that I can't speak and talk in complete sentences. That's that's the problem. If I do that, I get myself in trouble. But here, here's my E3 prediction. Here we go. <laughs> no, this is this is serious. I believe Microsoft is going to drop the paywall for multiple. The paywall. From Yo, Xbox Live I got Gold. a video yes. coming out saying that. Beautiful. You think so? Yes. That's a bold. To. That would yes. be a bold move. That would put them in the forefront. Yes. I, I, just, and just and, and what make me say that? Could. Because if you're going to fuse, if you're trying to fuse your ecosystems and your platforms. You can't do and, PC and then not have Xbox like that. Right. right. And, and I, I think that. that's only fair. That's to, smart. Wow. To, to, to the console Ooh. gamers, you know, and then we're moving <laughs> to UWP, Xbox Play Anywhere, yeah, yeah. cross platform. Hey. Yeah. I'm thinking the same thing, Mom. Like you know, because you can have you already have a tier set up with Xbox Live Gold mm -hmm. and Xbox Live Silver. Mm -hmm. Right, not silver sort of thing. I got to do what I what I was thinking, and I'm glad Mama Cedar brought it up. You know, I got a video talking about this where, you know, you may put multiplayer on silver, and all you got to do is enhance gold. You can yes. add an extra gold. game. You can add. A, a and free movie game, rental. Movies. A free movie rental. Yeah. Throw in Groove People will stay. People will stay. Because yes. I'm saying, if right. you don't give me a free movie rental and give me, you know, access to Groove, I'm not going especially, nowhere, fam. But, 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 Especially when you implement Groove music into the games like they did with Forza Horizon 3. Yep. That yeah, was complete yeah, yeah. sweetness, man. Put it and in And we will force Sony party. to do it. Sony wouldn't have no yeah. choice but to respond. But I, I think it would be better if they just did it for free. Because you would bring more people in. Like no, people, make the multiplayer free. Because why would right, you? Right. Why would you uh, give people the, the free games every month? Like, no, that's 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 yeah, stupid yeah, on yeah, yeah, the developer part and and Microsoft point. part. So yeah. just make the multiplayer, the multiplayer aspect free. Oh yeah, that's that's bringing everybody. They get all kind of people coming yeah. to Xbox. It would benefit even if you're a hardcore Sony person. You would benefit from that because they will force Sony to do it as well. Yeah, that would right. shake the floor. That would shake the E3 floor like right. To go in. Nothing would top that at E3. Nothing. Sixty dollars? No, sixty dollars. I'm saving sixty bucks. And yeah, I mean the yeah the multiplayer would completely remove it behind. Take that paywall out. That's good, Mama Cedar. I like that. That's nice. I like yeah, it too. That, yeah, that, that would be dope. <laughs> yeah. All right, All right so who got one that can top that? <laughs> I got one. <laughs> y'all ready? What you got? Xbox Killer Instinct 2 for the PlayStation. Um, I think they're gonna come out with a PS4 Pro Slim, but they're gonna try to make it like you know, it's gonna be better than the Xbox Scorpio. What? And then for the Nintendo, hold on, just hold around. And then for <laughs> Nintendo. I think for Nintendo, that you made me forget what I was gonna say for Nintendo. I had a good one. My back uh, that was so asinine, I couldn't believe. It. Oh yeah, and then the Nintendo. That's I think I think the I think the Call of Duty, uh, the new Call of Duty, will be on the Switch. Oh, let's talk. Let's address this. Ooh, uh, that's a nice yeah, 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 about yeah, the Scorpio. That's that's kind of that's a reach. Mm -hmm, I'm reaching hard. <laughs> you switch out strong in this shit, dog. Y'all said both. Y'all said both. Right, right. My but new I'm nickname right. is Stretch Armstrong. So you said they're going to make the Slim, the PS4 Pro Slim. You know, the Pro just came out. They're going to make the PS4 Pro Slim more powerful than the PS4 Pro and also more powerful than the Xbox Scorpio. Like, they're going to just, what, upgrade? What they going to do? I, I just, hey, that's what I'm thinking. You know how, you know how many people you're going to piss off? For well, Sony, if you made a slim more powerful than a pro, dude, yeah, you're, they you're, just you're gonna piss system. off the entire yeah, community. They just dropped two. That's hey, that's on them. I, I, I would say if they if they were to do that, I think they would do it and come with a, like a whole new generation console that's coming in the future. Like if they was to do that, I don't think they're gonna like. Nah, it's not gonna be no more PlayStation fours. Yeah. I don't think. I don't think. But that's 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 crazy. Hey, you never know though. Mm -hmm. you never know. 
That's why it's a prediction. It's just a prediction. It's a prediction. I'm, it's bold, right. but I'm like, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, mean, <laughs> it's oh, a I think Sony could get away with that. I don't care what nobody no, says. I think I think Sony can't afford to be like that. And I'm nah. like, they have so much goodwill right now. Right. And they uh, got that's too such an anti anti consumer thing to do, got, in my got, opinion. Do you really think they're gonna get hate for that fame? If they come out yes. with a system that's more powerful than a Scorpio, yeah, you really think they're gonna be hated on a that? year after that? the pro? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. These other systems though. I, and yeah. I agree. I that, agree. That, that would be a bit uncharacteristic of Sony though, because they're they're really good like this whole generation, well at least most of it with their messaging. And that would kind of go against like their messaging right now. And also, I don't feel like they feel like they're in a like awkward or tight position to where they feel like they have to do that. I think they're I think they're comfortable right now. I think that you know the pro right. um, isn't, in my opinion, what it needs to be. But at the same time, they're still selling systems. They're still doing well with games and stuff. I don't think they are in that crunch like that. I don't think the Scorpio put them in that vice grip like that, if if you will, to do such a desperate move. You know. So, well, I don't think they have to do it. I just think nah, if they nah, do they it, they if they do, do I don't think they're going to get hate for it. I don't. Okay. I, but I, mean, if they, so I wouldn't hate them because I don't have a pro or a slim. I got the day one. So I right, do. right. Because yeah, that, would, that would kill the pro, wouldn't it? It would kill it hard, yeah, wouldn't it? I know my day one. Man, I my, day, my day one was burnt up. The only, way, only way I see them doing that is if they, because they already phasing out the day one. Um, the day one PS4 is like them drugs getting phased out quick. The only mm, one thing yeah. I sell is a slim. Exactly. So, I don't know. I've been seeing all these uh um, like hate videos on the pro, you know, it's disappointment and folk yeah. not feeling like that the pro would be up to the I, I, expectations. I do agree with them. I agree with them. Honestly, I, I, I agree too. That's I why I didn't them. buy one. I didn't buy yeah, one. It's not it's not enough yeah. of an upgrade for me to buy another one. Because the same games on my regular four. Me seeing Horizon on my regular PS4. Oh, oh yeah, that was it. I was like, I don't need a pro. <laughs> yeah, because I mean the HDR. <laughs> and I was, like, 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 like seriously, the game when I saw the graphics, I couldn't believe it was on PS4. Yeah. I but, do, but do y'all think they will still? With my prediction, do you think they still come out with a PS4 Pro Slim? They, hell no. They better no. not. Nah. If they do, they haven't because look, they haven't even done everything for the PS Pro itself. Do they even have the uh the pro mode yet? Yeah, I, Horizon got a pro mode. That's the only game. No, there's <laughs> more games than that. <laughs> like for no, all, is, like the most. Yeah, the, right, I'm how sorry, many go games ahead, go got ahead. the pro mode on it? How many? I gotta, I gotta look it up. Oh. That's because the, because the reason why I said that is look said, look how, how big. Games, how many games got <laughs> pro mode? You said yeah yeah the, like, yeah. The reason why it's, it's not a lot, man. Re- it's only like it's only like eighty games, man. That that re- that eighty or eight. No, like that. There's only like eighty games that benefit for from the pro enhancements. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, wow. since, since it came out, yeah, it's about eighty that benefit I mean, from enhancements to some degree. Like, like, bigger titles, like smaller titles. No, just titles in general. It's so big no, and small. I'm looking yeah. at it right now. I'm looking at a list. So on here, I see Abzu, I see Assassin's Creed, um, Batman, Battlefield One, um, the Call of Duties, Dishonored Two, ESA. Okay. Got a little list. Final Fantasy 15. I know For Honor got a uh, pro patch. Um, what else? Ghost Recon. That's new. Uh, Hitman got one. Horizon. Now, see, I do wanna, I do wanna come off of this for a second because um, we, I want to get back to this uh, topic of the PS4 Pro. So let's move to a different prediction because I, we do, ha- we do need to come back to this topic. And just uh, I want to do my prediction real quick. No, no, no. I'm, what I'm saying is we're going to continue predictions. We're going to move on to a different prediction because the topic of the PS4 Pro is something we're going to, we, have to, we have to talk about in a few. So I want to stop oh, okay, okay. this and continue with the prediction so we can come back to this. Sorry, guys. You know, <laughs> <laughs> don't cut my girl off. Cut me off, man. I'm in, I'm so over here, man. I opened up a can of worms. <laughs> now, so if you guys uh, just take a quick glance at the um, the chat that we can see. All right, so uh, who's uh, who's up next? What you got? Well, I think Croc, Croc wanted to go. For I, yeah, I wanted to go. Um, for me, I have a feeling that um, Sucker Punch is going to show a game, and it's not going to be infamous. I think it's going to be a completely different IP. Mm. It's not going to be anything like infamous. I think it's going to be totally different. Hmm. Yeah, um, That would be sweet. That I, hope, I mean, that. I hope so because mm-hmm. I feel like Infamous has stayed its course. Is cool, is good. Time to move to something different. 
Yeah, the story, story not deep enough for it to keep going they, at I all. Mean, it depends because the the last one, uh, first light. They, yeah, I, I got it. First light, I think they could they could expand with her character. She mm-hmm. was actually interesting. Yeah, she was. Yeah, I mean, I wanted when I played it, I wanted it to be a full game, but yeah, she's interesting. Like the yeah, she uh, is. what's his name in uh, Delvin. He wasn't interested. He was. Oh nah. gosh, he was just too whiny and. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he, was was a, he was an emo. He was an emo. What you <laughs> he thought he was a yeah. He just didn't. I was like, shut up. We were trying to shut up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Crazy character. The way yeah. He had a. Uh, he had a he swear to video games. The personality. Yeah. I didn't like it. So, but the chick, I loved her personality and I thought they could have did something more with her. But after seeing what Gorilla did with Horizon, I want I, I want Circle Punch to try something. Yeah. Different. They're Kudos due for that. Really. They're, they are they are due for that. So you know, I think I think that's gonna yeah. Happen. They've been doing Infamous since last gen. It's time to, to yeah. To, it's time to put that franchise down and do something else. And Sucker Punch is one of those deals we don't talk about much for being quality, but they got a pretty good track record. Yeah, they, they do. Because, it's not uh, perfect, but it's pretty good. No, nah, I like the Infamous game. Infamous one, two, and um, uh, what is it? Blood. Uh, the one was the Vampire. That joint was fun mm-hmm. on PS3. So. That's my prediction. Is it my turn yet? Look, Let's yep. go, King. Real, real talk. Like, my boy, the King. You know, oh. I, I've, been, I've, been, I've been sitting here, you know, patiently waiting, letting everybody talk because I'm a gentleman like that. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's my turn now. Let me go ahead and get mine out right quick. Uh, it, mine ain't like Super Bowl and nothing. Mine are just games related. Uh, but I'm going I'm to stick with I'm gonna stick with my prediction of uh, God of War is going to get release date and that's going to be coming this holiday season. Uh, so I'm sticking with that. I've been saying that, so I'm gonna stick with that. Also, I think that uh, Spider-Man will actually get a release date at uh, this E3. Right. I don't think I don't think it's coming uh, this year or nothing like that. But I think it's actually gonna get a, a release date. So, um, <clears throat> so those those are my predictions. I don't, I don't have I don't you have think, big. You think Spider-Man like is gonna be good though? Hell yeah, yeah, I think it's gonna be yes. lit. Oh, oh, man, oh yeah, oh, oh, yeah. it looked yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. It looked good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because of the people that are doing it, because of the Insomniac, people that are doing it, I think it's gonna be Insomniac, good. right. Insomniac yes. doesn't make horrible bad games. No, they don't. They don't. They don't. <laughs> so okay, okay, okay. So you know, no, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, but you know, it's different when you're tackling like a superhero type title. Like it got to be like on point. It, it's either gonna be it's either gonna be really great. good or trash. You're or right. It's gonna be trash. There's no right. in between. You're right. They're really not. So I, I got faith. I got faith in them. But no I, hope Look, I hope they do. Look, considering the last Spider-Man game we got, it can't get no more trash than that. <laughs> I, I don't know. Super uh, Superman got a pretty good legacy of trash games. Facts. Yeah. Well, Superman <laughs> overall, in my opinion, is, is, is a trash superhero. But before we yeah. switch topics, I just, <laughs> I just want to say, uh, Superman, oh, hey, Superman's a bitch. Let's be real. No, no, oh damn, I hate that dude, bro. He's a straight up bitch, man. I would say for me, I kind of got. Tell us how you really feel. Because one of the ones I already said before, one I already, one I already said before, and that's that Microsoft and Bethesda are working on a exclusive title for Windows 10 slash Project Scorpio. But um, on top of that, I want to say that Microsoft and Bioware have a deal to bring back Kotar exclusively for Xbox and Windows 10. Oh, wow. Microsoft Republic, uh, Microsoft Republic coming back is going to be a remake or a reboot uh, by Bioware exclusively for Xbox uh, slash Windows 10. Let's go. Oh, cool. That's real. I know a lot of people asking for that. So, <laughs> weird transition. What a transition. So, can y'all hear me all right? Yeah, we can hear yeah, you. You sound great. Right. So, we. Stop. we hey, stop hitting on Mama C to be a G, bro. This ain't hey. I'm just saying her audio quality is impeccable, sir. Oh, speaking of <laughs> Mama C, uh, leave him alone. Oh, oh, okay. Your fans. I'm trying to defend your honor, Ma. I'm trying to defend your honor. I'm honor. good with it. He's an honorable I'm a, I'm a, man. I'm a, little, I'm, a little, I'm a little defensive. I'm a little defensive over my women right now. You know? I know that's how those light skinned dudes get sometimes, man. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta watch them dudes, man. They be mad for nothing. <laughs> they hide, they upset. Like, I'm not trying to holler. I just spoke, bro. Um, <laughs> Mama Cita, your uh, your super fan, Marcus Williams. Like he said, anybody that's coming at you sideways, let him know he's gonna take care of you. Oh, okay. I'm not scared of a dude named Marcus Witt. No, I'm just kidding. Nah. I'm it's a joke. It's a joke. 
It was a joke. Wow. Oh, he, not wow. he not talking about you. He ain't talking about you. He talking about some other stuff. Some other stuff, stuff that they were oh, dressing. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and switch topics. Uh, because I want to dive back into the whole PS4 Pro thing. We talked about uh, games with promo and things like that. So um, recently, Sony has been doing uh, marketing um, PS4 Pro Dynamic 4K. I'm assuming this is them trying to do some uh, word twisting and um, to to combat the, the term good. true 4K, which is coming from the Microsoft team with Project like Scorpio. So what do you guys think about Sony uh, really trying to – I don't know if, they, if that's going to – because to me, that term is going to trick a lot of casual people when they see, oh, dynamic 4K. Because dynamic seems, oh my God, this is going right. to be crazy. Yeah, that's, yeah. But it's not even it's not even actual 4K. It's marketing. So what do you think about them? Basically, in my opinion, tricking. To me, it's, it's tricking people to thinking you really got a 4K box. That's yeah. just that's that's retail, man. They've been doing it forever. Like but don't they don't they um like. Like in some instances, have a 4K box. It just depends on the game and stuff, right? Bro, come on. I mean, it's, it's unfair. Like, no, 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 like, 4K games. Don't get me wrong, but the no, majority. Yeah, that's what. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But but hear me out though. Hear me out though. Like there are some games that are in native 4Ks and some are not. So so they're not like, like they're technically not. I mean, it is trickery. I agree with you. It's, it's yeah, it's trickery. It's smoke and mirror. <laughs> if you're not, if you're if you're a casual gamer, if you're someone who you want to buy a PS4 but, for but, both but dynamic 4K? Oh my god! But what is yeah, because it? that sounds like that's something bigger right. and better than it standard like 4K. 4K nigga. Yeah, it's like yeah, you I mean, know, yeah. it's like but, 4K with bells and whistles. That's right. what it sounds like. Dynamic yeah, right. 4K, super right. duper 4K. Listen, you gotta be careful though with the messaging, regardless, because saying <laughs> some, a true 4K box, you know, everybody's gonna be expecting like every game to be 4K. You know what I'm saying? So like right. every game is not gonna be 4K on any system. You know what I'm saying? It, no. it, it depends on the game. So you, I mean, either way, you gotta be careful with that that mark that marketing and that messaging. You know, even even Microsoft saying you know it's a true 4K box. Well, yeah, it, it's capable of it on some games, but some games it won't be, and some games developers won't do that, and then. If people are gonna expect full native 4K, and when they don't get it, they're gonna get mad based on the messaging. You know what I'm saying? So, so some right. people, <clears throat> Nicodemus X, believes that Sony doesn't really care what other companies are doing because they're such a big lead. So, do you not think this is a a tactic out of, you know, fear? Not necessarily fear, but it's a tactic based off of oh snap, Microsoft actually has a 4K console coming. So let's. Put this out there because nick you always say so sony ain't got no competition they worried about nobody else this is obviously worried about xbox scorpio i'm just saying i wouldn't call it fear i don't think it's fear. It i mean yeah, I, I don't so is this not a reaction it's, to it's, xbox it's, scorpio it's smart marketing because of xbox of scorpio but i wouldn't call it fear look man it at is, the end of the day you is, can tell I, don't, me. I don't call it fear though <laughs> it's just not right fear. Right, it's not fear because, like, at the end of the day, you could say you got a 4K gaming system and it does 4K, but nigga, where the games at? That don't matter. Oh, bro. Like, what's yeah, don't I matter? Say, I say it like this: like, my, like, I always throw my cousin in here because he's a casual game. He don't even know what fuck 4K is. Like, he don't. <laughs> like, he know what 4K TV is. Right. And he like he like he don't know like what game is in what resolution and he don't know none of that he don't they just play games yeah like how come y'all dumbifying the casuals now i mean how come I'm the casuals are so dumb now they don't know they don't know because they know enough to go and get the ps4 over the X xbox one I they knew what the Xbox well, One they could do been, they might have been game wise though come on though nah, 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 it's no different I see what my talking about though with the resolution gate. They didn't right. do enough, you know. They did. So they she, did. They yeah, don't dumbify here. my casuals, y'all. Don't, don't dumbify the casuals they like that. I'm doing just it for themselves. That I know he don't know nothing about all that. All he know is Madden, Grand Theft Auto, and he just know it look better on a flat screen TV. You all, think that's bad? Like HDR. When I told him what HDR was, he looked at me like I was crazy. Man, I got a homeboy who <laughs> tried to get me the other day. <laughs> And he tried to get me to play uh Madden 2002, and he was hype about it. I'm like, man, if you don't go sit down somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not, I understand. But if you walk into a store, if you walk into a store and you want to buy a console, and someone tells you, <clears throat> excuse me, if someone says this game, your games are going to look better on a system versus B system. Right. Even the casual is going to buy the version that has the better 
right. where the games are going to look the best. It's true, but sometimes yeah. it depends on where all their friends are at too. That makes sense. Yeah, difference. that's true. When they walk in the store yeah. and they see a big old sign that says "Dynamic 4K." They yeah. gonna run to where it says dynamic. No, no, Microsoft got to put a fan, a fan, a, a sign yeah. up that says double dynamic 4K. Man, all Microsoft <laughs> dynamic. Dynamic to me, that word sounds better than true 4K. It does. It really does. Double dynamic 4K. Yeah, yeah. What's it gonna call yeah. it? Di- dynamite 4K. Double D. Even though di- we know true 4K, <laughs> double D. Dynamic, we know that yeah. for a fact. But to a casual, dynamic sounds better than true. So they right, think it's right, better than true. Better, right, right, right. I just yeah, put double yeah. D on it, Fane. Put double D yeah. on it. Really? This, yeah. this system is dynamite. Y'all talk that, right? <laughs> but I see the boys every, every show. Okay, you know what? See? <laughs> put some double Ds on it. Double <laughs> you know what? Why did you say that? That would sound a little bit better. I ain't going to it. Yeah, it did. <laughs> every show. You set yourself up for that one. Okay, d- yeah. you get what the point I was making. Double yeah. dynamic, double D. Right. You walk oh in. gosh! Kind of walk. So, 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 you want a you want a model, a, a Xbox model up there with with, with hey, big double D's hurt. up there? Hey, do what they gotta do. <laughs> do what you gotta sex do to sell. Sell. Oh, sell. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they known for the booth girls now. Hey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So while we're here talking about the PS4 Pro, uh, hey. we all know. You know, this regardless of what people might say, regardless of their hate, we all know 2017, the talk of 2017 is Project Scorpio. With even with the Switch coming out and the Pro with the games, the talk of 2017 is Xbox Scorpio. So with that mm-hmm. being said, if I go around a panel, what do you guys think Xbox can learn from um not necessarily the the because I don't want to say the Pro is a failure, but it's not it's obviously not selling right as much I think as they thought it would. So what do you guys think Xbox can learn from, quote unquote, the mistakes being made by the PS4 Pro? I don't know, man. Because the most of nine times out of ten, the Slims are gonna always sell more than the the, the newer versions. So, mm, right, they're cheaper. Well, I think all all Xbox got to do is just keep it like they're keeping it. It's the Xbox One, but they kind of like rebranding it with the Scorpio name, so. I feel like they really can't do nothing wrong. Like their their systems they've been dropping in the uh the last Xbox One sold pretty well, you know. So yeah, I, I don't S, see, S is right. well. Here, right. Here's why I think here's what I think they gotta do though. Here's what I think they gotta do. They gotta make sure that every game benefits from the power of the Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? They gotta, well, we know that already. I mean, yeah, if a game yeah, is supposed to be 60, the Scorpio is going to automatically make it 60. Ex- exactly. But right. in, in contrast, in contrast to the Pro, the problem with the Pro is that there are many games that are not benefiting from the power of the Pro. There are many games that are supposed to be enhanced that aren't enhanced. There are many games that run better on the regular PS4 than on the Pro. So all Microsoft yeah, has to do crazy. is make sure they that round it out. Yeah. All the games are looking better, performing better on the Pro, and optimize better on the pro they got to really be with get with these developers which i'm sure they're already in the mix and deeply in the mix with all mm-hmm. that but they got to make sure that the message is clear first of all and they got to make sure that the games deliver because honestly a lot of the games on the pro have not delivered been very disappointed and people are sitting wondering why they even bought the damn thing they can't microsoft cannot cannot allow that to happen they can't allow when people get the scorpio and you're sitting at home wondering why you brought the damn thing like when digital foundry makes those comparisons exactly we, we can we cannot have a last guardian effect to where exactly. the frame rate the frame rate is right on the pro than on the freaking regular ps4 you know? exactly. well, i think i think one of the one of the things with that nick is we look at a lot of the xbox games you know being not not a not a lot they're, they're a, a big there's a big number of Xbox games that are 700p, 900p, and so that is a big gap between those two games. Let's say the game isn't necessarily 4K or Scorpio. Let's say the developer decided to make it 1440p, 60 frames per second, max settings. That is a huge difference from anything that comes close on the Xbox One. And I don't think the gap between the PS4 and the PS4 Pro is that big enough for people to be like, oh my God, right. I have to go get this. But I think for the Xbox One and Xbox Scorpio, that gap is automatically big enough. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna so, have a much and then and then what's the incentive? What's the incentive for the developer? I think Microsoft has has released uh you know their development uh their dev tools uh for uh for the developers as far as either 
um, natively or, or porting games over to, you know, to their games to the systems. I just think Microsoft definitely needed to learn from Sony, making it easier for those developers to create and, and port yeah. their games. And I, and, I, and I would say, or I would argue that I think it's obvious that Microsoft has an um, a upper hand, <laughs> you know, uh, with the Scorpio coming into because it just seems it appears that it's just easier to develop for the for you know you write your code or you or, or you write your game or however you you do or whatever in your in engine and then you tweak it here <laughs> or there for for the scorpio so and and then also uh not leaving out those that have 1080 ptvs you know you 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 seeing um some benefits to purchasing the scorpio without having a 4k television yeah it's as well clear clear benefits because the pro honestly has not you know delivered right on. and that's i think that's why i don't have a pro. for the <laughs> developers though to say okay well you know what i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to write my game for scorpio that's an incentive because i mean i think that would increase increase sales that way i mean i, I don't understand why developers aren't necessarily um utilizing the pros features i don't i don't you know i i don't get that yeah. But um, obviously they're not. I'm thinking that the pro was kind of rushed, and they tried to rush that thing on out a little bit. Yeah, um, it was. And and the developers didn't have a. That's why I, and the developers really didn't have enough time to, you know, what I'm saying, give to the game what they should to just these games like uh shaders and the HDR and all that stuff. It was just like we was getting certain games, and they was just throwing a coat of paint on it and calling it. HDR this and that, and it always got them like, no, nah, it still looks the same. Like, I'm good. That's why I didn't buy a PS4 Pro. Right. Yep. I don't have a 4K TV. It's a couple of things yeah. I want to hit before we before we continue. Number one, uh, <laughs> to the to the chat, man. Uh, <laughs> Mama Cena, you see, you see uh, Dutch BRD, you say Mama yeah. Cena's pleasant sounding. <laughs> Uh, I ain't heard a voice in a minute. I need to get us my voicemail. <laughs> Mama said you can start charging folks, man. And say, hey, you know, five dollars. I'll be yeah, for joking. real. Yeah, I'll do your voicemail. Okay, you know what? But you know what? That, yeah, I'm joking. But I have been in podcasts this past year, and I've had some of the other co podcast members literally DM me afterwards, say, "Mama, see, you need to do something with your voice." I'm serious. I've had them say that to me. I'm like, "Well, what am I supposed to do with it other than talk?" But they're like, oh, well, do you know? <laughs> like what else hey, I supposed to do with it? You know, think, I mean, you know, you, you, you got to do something. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> okay, you know what? Hey, have you, have you guys uh, played Path of Exile? Oh, no, no, I I'm forward for that. I'm looking forward. Uh, yeah, yeah, we got it. We got someone in the chat uh, brought it up. Yeah. The Mac of all zero one zero. Said it's going to be a sleeper hit on the uh, on the Xbox. Oh, heck yeah. Okay. What is Are that? You talking about Diablo and then Path some? of Exile. Sure, heck yeah. It's supposed to be. I think it's a it's a it's a free game. It's a free to play. I want to say it's only on Steam right now, and the reviews for it are actually pretty crazy. And it's supposed to be coming to uh, coming to the Xbox and uh, Mac of all ten zero one zero says it will be a sleeper hit. So we definitely got to keep our eyes out for that. Mm. Mm -hmm. But my bad. Um, I, I just want to acknowledge that in the chat. So back to where was that? Who's who's up? What do you guys think? The um, anybody else think that the Xbox can learn anything from the PS4 Pro? Hey, oh my bad. Yeah, everybody <laughs> feel what I was thinking, but I, like I said before, I always feel that the Slims are gonna always sell better because they're cheaper anyway. Yeah. Like that, though, their Xbox. What is it? One S. That joint is going to sell, especially when that Scorpio come out, because the price is gonna go down. Mm -hmm. So let me ask y'all this: How much? <laughs> how much? You guys think the Scorpio big? I'm still saying three ninety nine. I'm, I'm between. I'm, I'm still between three ninety nine and four ninety nine. Yeah, gonna, I'm thinking I, around I, there. I, I think four five five tops. I think I think, I, yeah. I, think I, I think there's three prices. I think there are three ninety nine, four ninety nine, four ninety nine, and five ninety nine. They're probably with memory, different memory. Yeah, sets. exactly. Just yeah. with the memory. That's what I think I, it I, is. Three ninety nine, three ninety nine SKU, and that and that's gonna be the one for me. That's right. I got, yeah. I got I got external hard drives, man. Yeah, because nobody cares about it, and, that, and that's what he's trying to target. He's trying to target. Remember, he said uh, he wanted to hit the hardcore fans as well. Mm -hmm. So the hardcore fans want the you know one with the biggest terabytes in it, right? So that's yeah. the one that's five ninety nine. They don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? 
So the ones that just a casual, they're gonna look at that price and be like three ninety nine for like right. one terabyte. That's great. I'll work with that. Uh four ninety nine, two terabytes, and then right. you know, on up. Cause I, I really think, you know, a lot of people say oh four ninety nine, five ninety nine, whatever the case may be. I think people gotta really think of the way technology, how fast it moves. I think that with what's going inside of Scorpio, with what to know with with the with the what the, the vapor chamber or whatnot, I really think that's still better to put this console out at three ninety nine and not take a loss. Yeah. Yeah, Just because exactly. of how fast oh, yeah. Yeah. because of so how people, fast technology is moving. And I think three ninety nine, yeah. you, you would drop yeah. the price of the one S to what? Two what two twenty nine, maybe, if that. I think a three ninety nine Scorpio, that thing is gonna fly off the shelves. Honestly. Yeah, yeah it is. Also, would be like that Pro is gonna it's gonna drop in price as well. They're gonna oh, it's gonna it. have to. Yeah, they're oh, gonna yeah, drop it's gonna have to. Right. three. Oh yeah, it's definitely. I, I think the, I think they sell the one the Xbox One S for one ninety nine. I just I just think that. Nah, I don't think that's gonna go down that low. Nah, I think I think two twenty nine for the One S. Yeah. And, they, and they're probably gonna do a sale to get rid of the rest because if they got any fat ones, like oh, they're yeah. gonna get rid of the fat boys. Yeah. yeah but I think at three ninety nine, folks. Folks are gonna lose their mind. It's gonna be a talk of E3. I'm sorry, it will be 399. Folks not expecting it. Well, Everybody keeps saying premium just, price 500. I'm ready. Right. I'm ready to see if Sony gonna start doing what they should have did last year and do some freaking PlayStation Pro bundles. I was like, why are they not bundling anything with this freaking car? Microsoft boy, they quick with the bundles. Yeah, Nigga, they bundles was crazy. Sony, I mean, it was cool. What was it the year for last? They had mad bundles, but last year, man, they, I don't know what was going on last year. They ain't have like really no bundles. Right. Now, I, I wonder if they're gonna bundle uh, Scorpio with like, uh, cause, you know, this year we're not having a a Halo or Gears at E3. I wonder if they're gonna bundle Scorpio with a Halo Five, Gears of War Four. I can see that. You know, yeah. we, we're gonna give you our most powerful console with some of our biggest franchises. Right. We give you I mean, bigger, biggest franchises for free if you're being introduced to the Xbox for the first time. It's not dumb to do that, and then also you already know during the holidays they throwing everything, but right. it. Mm-hmm. And I think that Gears of War 4, a Gears of War four bundle would sell. It would sell. Yeah, and throwing that game. I think pass it would sell too. more than the Halo. It'd sell. Oh yeah, yeah. throwwing like, that yeah. game pass. I agree with that. Throwing yeah, the game sell. pass. Like, yeah. yeah. my game. nephews all they, they my nephews are seriously looking at that. Cause my sisters yeah. are like, you mean ten dollars a month and they can just play? I was like, yeah. yeah so they're like, yeah. oh, stuff. That's well, what's just, up. Just going back to some of the predictions, like the prediction Mama Cedar made, and then you know me thinking it's gonna be three ninety nine. Imagine a three ninety nine Project Scorpio, and then they announce free multiplayer. You're gonna have the best deal in gaming right now. Yeah, I'm that's sorry. that's gonna be sick. I mean, that's gonna that's gonna be sick. That'll put Sony in a position. And all they need yeah. to do is announce some. Some some great new IP, mm-hmm. or bring back some of their great old IPs as mm-hmm. well. You know, I think that would be epic. Like Phantom Dust, I honestly, and I said it on my video before. I said it even fifteen dollars or free. It came out to be free, and I said it on Twitter. I really think that they didn't can the reboot, and I think this Phantom Dust um, re-release is to gauge interest to actually making to make uh, to bring back get another developer to bring back the reboot. I mean, Aham, y'all talk about how dated, you know, this game is a 2004 game, and I've been playing it uh, since this morning. And uh, the uh, the combat and the gameplay for this to be a 2004 game is really unique. And I would I would say that if, if they did a, a complete, like, remaster this game and bring this game back, uh, you know, new engines and... And with this combat system updated, it, it could truly, truly be a blockbuster for Xbox because if you can get past the dated visuals and and, and I understand the multiplayer is really kind of clunky trying to play the multiplayer, but I've been playing the single player game. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm like, you know, this is really cool the way, you know, you you swap out your abilities. You know, they're like orbs in the world and you swap out and you attack your enemies, locking on, locking on your enemies and swapping your enemies. And then, you know, using your defense and your attack uh, abilities in the world to, to you know, it, it, it's, it was truly, I mean, that's unique. And I think we are craving for unique mm-hmm. gameplay, you know, this gen right now. Everybody is. That's what so, Xbox yeah. needs. Oh, they need yeah. it. And the thing they is, they need it. They, 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 it, have yeah. it. they have it in their portfolio. Yeah, no. They have a lot of games that they could really, 
even if they don't bring those particular games back, copy what you did on the OG Xbox and just bring it to the Xbox Scorpio, please. I've been saying for the longest, like, I keep telling people that, like, just like Nintendo, I hate when Nintendo does it. They got so many IPs that they can bring back, but they never do. Like, they yeah. do. Try something different. Go back into your, your vault, because you've been around long enough, you got a little vault. Mm-hmm. Unless you don't own them, like, unless you don't own the IPs. That's different. But if you actually own the IPs, like, bring a couple of the, 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 the fan classics back, man. Especially from the OG Xbox. Yeah, I would love to see another perfect dark, but that's just me. Yeah, yeah another perfect dark. Yeah, I would That'd like how it was yeah. back on Nintendo, yeah. though. Yeah, I'd like another yeah. golden eye. Uh... Yeah, I've yeah. been saying that for the longest. Like uh, a new, a new freaking perfect dark would be perfect for the Scorpio, I believe. Like, right. Yeah. Different. I don't like that. I don't like that perfect dark. That little kitty one that they had on the uh, nah. on the uh, three. So I didn't like that, but the perfect dark on that Nintendo sixty four boy. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what made me buy that thing. That thing was off the chain. Oh yeah, so well, think, Golden Eye was it for me? Yeah, yeah, Golden Eye was the truth. Of course, that's how uh, Perfect Dark became what it right, was. Right, right. But Golden Eye was the truth. But Perfect Dark put it to new heights. Like most people right. didn't give Perfect Dark where it, you know the justice it does. But they the the people that made Golden Eye made Perfect made Dark. Gar- I know, I know. Yeah, was it was lit. Perfect Dark on three sixty. That was the last one. No, no, we are talking about Nintendo sixty four yeah, back 64. in the day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That, that's how. That's how. Uh, hey, if you. Uh, I, mean, I, I like the one on the 360 too. I thought I like. Yeah. I said I like. Well, it was it was cool, but it wasn't it wasn't like the one on 64. Yeah, it was a little. Yeah, yeah it was way do different. Think, do y'all think that like Microsoft can get away with not <laughs> delivering a new IP? No. This, um, no. No. Nah, <laughs> man. Look, no, with they all they doing, they that'll crash and burn them. No. They, they, they going no, they up. They don't to. need to do that. They need to do something to keep going up, man. They they so, have okay, to so. announce a new IP. So they yeah. have to in order for this thing to be a banger. So even with even with the Scorpio being revealed with a decent price, even with right. uh, free multiplayer, all, all of that, it, it basically, without a new IP, it, it's not successful. Yeah. That's what just, y'all saying. Yeah. just for the simple fact that you're gonna draw in all the Xbox people, but you gotta get a game that draws yeah. other people in. That's they don't have an Xbox because of the games. That's a good yeah. ass point. That yeah, is because their competitor their competitors are doing it. Like Nintendo's got new IPs coming, and the PlayStation's got new IPs coming. That that looks silly. That right, and then yeah. silly yeah. PlayStation, then PlayStation dropped Horizon. They gotta yeah. do something. They got yeah, it. because on the PlayStation, on the PlayStation E3, you know you're gonna get a couple of price drops, but you you already know like they're gonna be yeah. some, like Buku games. Some gonna be live. They coming out with The Last of Us or Red Dead or something. They coming out with something. Yeah, right. we probably, so we're probably gonna see at least I must say two new games, and we may see some new VR games too. Because I've been right. here. Uh, they, I've been, can, I've been, they can they can save that shit. Yeah. 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 Cause I'm thinking about scooping up me a VR uh, because what of that far point. What happened to Zombie Taxi? The VR <laughs> PlayStation game. Whatever happened to that oh. one? I forgot I gotta, I gotta uh, see who actually made that game because you know they had third party people making games for them. So it went all first party, yeah. mostly third party people. With me, uh, I, oh, oh, I got one question, and I, this might, I don't know. I just want somebody to answer it for me. Whatever happened to uh, House of the Dead? Wouldn't that be cool in a VR game? Yeah, that'd be, that's, yeah. Wouldn't that be lit? Oh, that was like the arcade game, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Wouldn't that be lit in an arcade game type thing? Like, really got a game like, like that. that. Um, yeah, Until Dawn game. It's kind of yeah. like House yeah, of it's game. something like that. Yeah, it is something like it. Yeah, but I'm talking about like in a VR setting though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. She's talking, 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 talking about Russia Blood. Yeah, yeah, Russia Blood. Yeah, yeah it is a VR setting. It, yeah. It's like it's basically like you shooting that stuff, but you're in like it's, it's kind of different because you're in a roller coaster. Yeah, it's kind of different. But if they did it like that, that would be that would be dope. Yeah, like like far point, not not like you know, not like how it's on a uh, like, like you're on rollers, like the but, old uh, Narc and the old Area 51 games. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say like I because I saw Barry playing um far point last night. That's on it. Yeah. Let me let me see this with with Sony <laughs> with the VR man with Sony with the VR. They kind of I think they feel like I feel like they need to treat it kind of like they do with the Vita. 
and not spend much time on it at all. Honestly, I don't know, man. Because, because, I, don't, I don't know because I, it, it's you not, saying, it's do not, you think at last E3 they showed like terrible games for the VR last year? I thought they showed pretty good games last year. They yeah, did, but did it, 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 yeah, but it, it hasn't really like taken off and it hasn't really right. like developed a lot of interest. And I think it's just yeah, but that's the thing you can't be give up on that because you're gonna do the same thing like you did to Vita. It's gonna die exactly. How, how are yeah. you expected oh. to to get, to garner the interest if you don't talk about? It to say, yeah, oh, because don't, I don't yeah. like it. I don't think it. Not necessarily you personally, King of Indies, but I'm I just saying, like if <laughs> if you don't like it, okay, don't talk about it. Well, then how is it going to become successful? I, they well, can talk about it. I, they can talk about it, but I don't think they need to make it a big thing. I think they but need they, to do what they, they do with the VR and kind of just. So like, in other words, hide behind a curtain and just like see through curtain <laughs> that you see the VR <laughs> yeah, game. Yeah, 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 oh, this is that. I don't get this about people though. They say, well. The Vita, the Vita is this, the Vita is that. Don't show it no more. But then you, you get pissed off when the Vita is not selling like you thought it was supposed to sell. Well, if you don't want them to show it, how the hell are people going to know to go buy it? They can show they, it. They, they didn't show support, it, they they didn't don't support it. They didn't support it. time on it. It's you want to know who supported the Vita? Japanese developers supported the Vita. They supported mm -hmm. the hell out of the Vita. Yep. Mm -hmm. All kind of games. Yeah, you got, man, if you are a Japanese person, like, if you like Japanese games, man, you got plenty of RPGs on the Vita. Hey, can I can I ask the panel a question? Most of us here, you know, are definitely over the age of 25, 26. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we old as hell. So I'm way old. I'm I'm at my, I'm at my, oh, my bad. <laughs> but we we all, we all remember for the most part, we all remember gaming uh, on Sega, Sega Genesis, right? So yeah. we, oh. we're hearing that the Sega may be bringing back game on it. Sega maybe bring back some of their IPs. Now I gotta ask you guys, I want to ask you guys. What old Sega people would like to see come back? And for me, no doubt, it's not even a question. It's Streets of Rage. Let's go. You would. Alter Beast. Dang, I was about Let's to go. Say that. Alter Let's Beast. Go. Oh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to say this one. Alter Beast. In, in video see, I'm tossed between that and Jet Set Radio. Okay. Me. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this one for my cousin because if he's listening, he'll love this one. Eternal champion. It was all right. Yeah, it, was, it was horrible. <laughs> hey, yo, speaking of Alter Beast, y'all don't know. You know. Me and Nick actually went to the arcade and beat Alter Beast a couple of weeks we ago. Beat that oh, game. Oh, arcade. Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Yes, 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 the whole thing, dog. It, it was amazing. I'm sorry, that game was amazing. Yeah, for the, for the time it was. <laughs> it's, to say it's, still, it it's still fun as hell, bro. It is fun, I know. Yo, I play it every now and then on my phone. I know, people, I know people are tired of remasters and remakes and stuff. All they need yeah. to do is remake the original Streets of Rage. I'm with fame on this. Bro, Streets of Rage is the look, dope, look, bro. Real talk. Oh, Streets of Rage was a train. We was at the video game museum, son. We was about to buy yeah. Final Fight. hats. We was about to buy Streets of Rage shirts. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the music, <laughs> when it first oh, starts, yeah. the freaking music is unbelievable in that game. I know you did. I know you did that move. I know you did that move where skates jumped on top of his head and start beating the hell out of him. I know you did that. Yep. yep. That's that move. I mean, I wouldn't oh. mind getting a comic book zone. I used to like that game. Yo, oh, that yeah, game I remember that. Crop. Yeah. Yo, that game was uh, really Comic Book Zone. Uh, what is it? Jet Set Radio. Yeah. Yeah. Radio. Hey. Yo, yo, yo. Y all, y all remember, okay, remember Ghouls and Ghosts? Y'all remember yeah, Ghouls and Ghosts? I remember that. Yo, I remember that. Yo, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Yes. Okay, you oh, know what game I wouldn't mind seeing? And I'm going to say something else. Uh, where, uh, What about that Earthworm Jim? Yo! Oh, I see. Yo. Let's um, get it. Let's yo. get it. Hell yes. What about I try to get that Earthworm Jim and that here's the console I regret that I, I did my best in life to get. And it still hurts my soul to this day that I don't have this console. That Sega Nomad. I wanted oh, yeah. that so bad. I had one. Yeah. I wanted that so bad. I play Earthworm Jim on my Windows phone and Jess said Radio. So that's why I knew yeah. them from. I didn't Plus, know. Yeah, the IP classic, man. That's just yeah, yeah. Yeah. The IP I want to see is Earthworm Jim and Toe Jam and Earl. How about how about uh, like uh, let's go, let's go, man. Oh, man. Like, you know they're not gonna do that though, man. It just seems like everything <laughs> we want, they never give it to us. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Like that, if they do bring back a Streets of Rage, they better bring back the same music from the first game. I don't oh, want them yeah. to make it sound crisper, 
Yeah. Just give me the same. Thank you, Sal Chris. That, that, that music, that music <laughs> is <laughs> epic. That's yo. Kendrick Lamar oh, rapping in the background. Yo, <laughs> man, yo, man, man. man. All they need to do, all they need to do is allow you to go between the old music and the new music, the old graphics, new graphics. Yes. Yo, yeah. yeah, that'd be cool if you could transition. That'd be, that would perfect. be. You mind, like like the Wonder Boy? Yeah, yeah, just like that one the board. Now, let me just ask like y'all this. Y'all want them to keep it, like, keep it, the gameplay and the difficulty, like, the original? Because yes. I, mean, I was playing Space yes. Rage. Yes. I played Space Rage. I, yeah. I played one, two, and three. Y'all know it's on Xbox One, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. All right. So I'm like, you know, it was, it was, some, it was some raging from me playing that. I mean, Street, uh, uh, Streets of Rage 3. <clears throat> Was a little uh, easier, I would say, but yeah. one and two. Oh my god, to me, the first one, yeah, the first hard. one is way better than the two and three. The first one is I just think, see, I like three, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you another I, thing, I, I, if like they do come, I, do, I do like three, I like three. If they come out with Streets of Rage like again, but I want you to be able to play with all four players, though. That's the only thing I want, right? Okay, all right, because you know, you can yeah. only play co op. He's old. Smooth 60 older frames games. per second. A yes. smooth 60 <laughs> frames per second. Give me yeah, that. Yeah. Yo, these older games be having us like feeling like little kids again, dog. I ain't gonna. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they do. They do. They do. They do. They do. Today, do not know how hard games really work. Hard, dude. I'm talking yeah, about hard. hard. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, I'm not, I'm not gonna I lie. Like I, want, I, want, I want infinite. I want infinite continues. I'm not gonna lie. I want infinite. Oh, okay. Infinite oh, continues. Yeah. Let me ask hey, you this. Hey. Right. Let me remember ask that. Hey, so remember that play? Alex. Remember that Alex uppercut where he brought that mug where he put his fist almost all the way to the ground and uppercut all the way <laughs> yeah, to the sky. Yeah, yeah. Nah, crazy. hey Nick. Hey Nick. I want revivals. You can team revive. That's what I want. Let me yeah. ask you this. Yeah, yeah that'd be clean. Yeah. Yeah. Who did y'all play with more? Was it Adam Axel or Blaze? Because Blaze was Blaze was the truth. I play with yeah, Blaze was the truth. I played with Blaze. 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 I just mm -hmm. man, see this is this is what I'm talking about. When we talking about games that everybody's so giddy and, and just happy, like yes, oh, game girl, I'm games, telling you, man. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm, I'm black, but I never played with Adam. I always played with Blake. What? <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. Me too. Adam. I never played with Adam. Uh, What's uh, up with you, that? What I don't you know. Blaze no, hold on. My girl, What's bro? going on? With yeah, you? Blaze was the truth. What, what? Wait a minute. Was that Adam was the big wrestler dude, wasn't it? When he the big, when he the big wrestler dude, I don't know, but he was or slow. Was that Matt? He was mm -hmm. slow. Yeah, he was kind of slow. Yeah, he was slow. Yeah, he was slow. Yeah, he was slow. I didn't like that. Now, he see, had Blaze, good moves, though. She, Blaze, like she did, like you had to hit the people. He had you had to hit people a lot, but like she yeah. was fast. You could maneuver really quick. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You could punch right. somebody in the face in the front and then hit somebody in the back just in case somebody <laughs> came. Yeah, she was the truth. Skates was too though. Skates, Skates and Blaze was the best tag team you could get, boy. Yes, sir. They was the crew. Mm. Oh man, we old man. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. Yeah. You know what though? Yeah. I'm glad I'm old because I lived through like the, some of the golden era. The golden era. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh like, my goodness, like, I'm older than y'all. So I know. They tell me I'm listening to them like tell my day old. Yeah, I'm older than every last one of y'all, so I, I don't understand. Don't realize it though, man. Like we, we, we live through I some classic games, <laughs> right? <laughs> classic games. Yeah. It's, it's not hey, y'all remember? Y'all remember going to the uh, to the arcade, and then if somebody got got caught spamming on that thing, they had to get up off them yeah. controls. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you got new moves, bro. You can't just. I remember. Yeah, I remember where I, I uh back in the day I used to beg my mama for quarters. I would have like fifty dollars worth of quarters in my pocket, and just be at the arcade all day. Mm. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I remember, bro. I remember having that top spot with Galaga. That's yeah. Play Galaga, man. Yeah, like, man the the top being spot. in an arcade is funner to me than playing online. How it's great. Now. It's freaking yeah. great. Back when Mortal Kombat came out, man, they had, they, they had Pit Fighter. Yeah. They had, uh, man, it was crazy. <laughs> it's all about that the social front water and everybody just happy to be around games. Right. That's exactly. a lot of fun yeah. playing online now. With people. Man, they still have arcade games. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Do. Yeah, uh, they got one here in Dallas. They got one here in Dallas. It's a bar and an arcade. Yeah. It's lit when they. Yeah. It's lit when they got AC. It's lit yeah, me and Nick went a couple weeks ago. The AC was out. We had that sweat oh, drinking man, beer playing man. uh playing uh Alter Beast. Oh, sweat man, like a mug man. in there. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
But hey, that I tell you the best arcade game that all you and your friends can get on. Remember that uh that eight seater Daytona USA? No. I got one better oh, than that. Yeah. Oh yeah. That X Men fool. Oh yeah. That was, that was the Nightcrawler, it. yeah. That was, <laughs> it. that was it. It wasn't nothing better than that. You get one more. Right. Mind getting the X Men game because the Wolverine game was <laughs> Like that game. Oh yeah, yeah, that Wolverine, Wolverine game was good, and they yeah. didn't give it. Yeah, I was waiting the, on the, the sequel. On, you talking about the one on 360? No, yeah, the, the one that where they made the X Men Origin off of. Yeah, that game That's was what, lit. Yeah, yeah that, that game, game was lit. It was violent was like and everything. Best, that was the best movie tying game of all. In time. fact, that was the best X Men game they ever created. I wouldn't say best uh, hero movie because I mean Spider Man was it two? I think that's the best superhero game we've got. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Spider. But was that movie uh, tying though? Was that movie tying? Uh, I, don't, I can't remember. It's been so long ago. I know that's the uh, best Spider Man game we've gotten. We ain't got one. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was the best Spider Man. Yeah. Yeah, that was the best Spider Man. But I wouldn't mind I mean, a new Wolverine game though, like or X Men game. Because yeah, nobody, yeah. nobody, nobody contesting Batman right now though. They need so another superhero well, they, to come out the ashes and they killed. Crazy. They killing off the X Men. That's why you ain't seeing it though. Yeah, I know. They trying to make it like it never existed. I'm like, what the hell? I know. And you always used to see Wolverine and Gambit in them everywhere. Yeah. Why? People why? like people. Why? People why? like the X Men franchise more than anything. Fox, yeah. Man. For Marvel at one time, yeah. Mar, I mean Marvel let go, let go of some characters, and now they wish they had them back. Right. Yeah. yeah they shouldn't have done that. DC hey. still got Aquaman though. True. <laughs> we talking about dog on superheroes. Any of y'all got a new uh, uh what you gonna call it? Uh what's what came out Tuesday? Uh Injustice Two. Oh, Injustice Justice Two. Two. Hey, man. Mm. No, not yet. Persona, man, in the council and mind of a game. I actually won that game. Um yeah. so I'll be I'll be live streaming that joint. I ain't got to play yet since I won it. Uh, uh -huh. but I'll be live streaming that joint this weekend. I'm excited, bro. Like nice. I was, I was ass. gonna pick it up. I was gonna pick it up, but I had one problem. I saw all that spamming with Dr. Fate, and I said, uh-uh, I'm out. <laughs> they was spamming like a mug with Dr. Fate. I saw that. And yeah. until they fix that, I'm just going to wait on Tekken 7 because I don't mm -mm, That's my that hurt game. my feelings. That's my favorite fighting game ever, Tekken. Yeah, yeah, That's that, that hurt my feelings game. when I saw all that spamming. Now, it's a great game. Like uh, Injustice 2 is a beautiful game. I, I, but when I saw all that spamming and all that stuff, you just throwing all the time and sitting in the background. I mean, just... I mean that's what every fighter though, man. Like yeah, every fighter, yeah, but it's gonna be a spam. Too. Yeah, it's gonna be somebody. <laughs> yeah, but not not like that. I don't know. Or Ermac and Mortal Kombat was pretty bad. The first injustice. Yeah. Um. Uh. Batman. Not Batman. Yeah. No, not Batman. Superman. Straight man. Yeah. You know how to spam yeah. with, um, with Superman? You were killing everybody. Well, I say hats Fade. off to y'all. They play them fighter games because yeah. I tell you, Tekken and Killer Instinct, them them commands are long as heck. I could play more yeah. than that, like, but I'm like, look at all these doggone commands. Yeah, you got to do all that. You know? <laughs> God, you got to be on your game. Right? Yeah, and try to do an ultra yeah. or a super yeah. duper move. A technical fighter, I watch guilty. I think, I think another game that didn't get like another fighting game that didn't really get love, and if they kind of like really fix it, fix it, it'd be good. Is Dead or Alive? Dead or Alive, yeah, like, dead or yeah. Alive. yeah, yeah, because Dead or Alive, it's almost like hand to hand combat. Like that's beautiful. I mean, Tekken is too. It's yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, that's why I like it so much. They can get Soul Calibur back. <laughs> Oh, so Calibur, especially with Spawn on. Hey, Street Fighter. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that one with Spawn no, on it was hard. So you know what? I feel that way that uh, Mama Cita just said about uh, the Street Fighters. Now yeah. it's not fun to me no more because it's like it's so much input you got to put in. You can't just sit back and enjoy the game. To me, yeah, exactly. It's too much to have to try to learn. Not about yeah. the commands are so so it's like I'm like okay I do two or three moves but then when I go online and try to just you know yeah, execute the two or three yeah. moves that I learned I'm getting yeah. my butt kicked. Yeah. That's, yeah. A yeah. Black, that's a problem with black that's a problem with black folks now they never want to sit down and learn. No, I'm mm. learning. <laughs> but you know what? This life is a brother from another mother. <laughs> I got one question. I know everybody said what they wanted to see. What don't you want to see at easy? PlayStation VR. What what don't you want us? What we 
Mm. I don't want to see um like like Nick said, I don't want to see PSVR. I don't want to see no I, VR. I don't want to see Ford, even though we're going to see it, I don't want to see Ford's of Motorsport 7 because Horizon yeah. series is the better series of the two. Um, that's pretty much it. Just show me, show me game, but those two I really don't care right. to see. So, you don't want to see um, Microsoft bring out Oculus going? No, nope. no, no. Now, 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 we'll say this don't no. get me wrong, I would love so, even, I don't care, it might be out of E3, but this whole mixed reality thing is kind of dope. You're talking about Hollow Lens? No, the mixed reality yeah, headsets yeah. they got coming out. Yeah, they got yeah. the it's both VR yeah. and an AR, yeah. so they can use your what's, they can use your surroundings to help with the with to do a VR type. Like I think that's gonna be dope. Mixed reality to me that's better than VR. Yeah, I, I think they have to show they're gonna have to show that AR and VR, even if it's you know ten minutes here or whatever. They they are, they're gonna have to. You know, I'll tell you what I don't want to see. I don't want to see Phil Spencer come out there with another battle toe shirt if he ain't bringing out no game. <laughs> For real, huh? I, I was feeling that way with uh, Crash Bandicoot. I was like, bro, if you don't stop wearing it. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, it may be about time they're actually showing now. That, that, he put hit the shirt on, what, two years so ago? So, man can't wear yeah. a shirt he won't wear. Are y'all serious? He can't no, wear a He's trolling. He's trolling with that shirt. He's trolling. He's trolling. Oh, he's trolling. He's trolling. <laughs> He might be about to pull a crash. He might. It might be coming. I mean, and okay. I'll say, well, I'll say what I don't want to see, and this is from Sony. I don't want to hear no talking, no extra talking. Uh, the last two years, the last two years, their E threes for me have been perfect because they yeah. talk the right. whole time. You talking about when they just dropping game after game after game? Yeah, you don't want to see those symphonies? Man, no. Sony gonna be talking about PlayStation View. Oh, no talking about a new show that got coming. Yeah, like I think they can do whatever they want. I tell you what, I tell you what, when they, that, when they had that, when they had that sympathy out there, when they were doing that sympathy. I thought you was about to come out, King uh, Nicholas. <laughs> I thought they were about to bring you out in a throne. <laughs> I know one thing. Y'all can't say not. I've watched a plenty of E3s, the past three E3s, and seen Sony fans crying in the crowd. Yeah. 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 My, my Sony fans, my Sony gamers, I'm like, okay, when Shinmu was announced, man, when they start panning, I was like, man, they crying. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they trip. Before we wrap, I gotta ask y'all, she might have Shenmu. Is that game ever coming out? No, nope. I think hey. it's because it's still <laughs> Axel Shida. You know what? It might it might be one of the games they could bring out. I mm. mean, it might be one of the games they show this year because it haven't been talked about in two years. <laughs> Man, some tell me that joint gonna end up multi plat, but um, we, we do gotta it wrap. Might. Like I said, I do want to apologize for us being late today. Um, this shouldn't happen again. We do apologize. Uh, do, as you guys know, uh, we have talked about doing a double XP AD after dark talk about certain topics like we did with me and Nick the other day. So if you guys want to see that, let us know. Um, Fanboy Friday or Switch Up Saturday is coming sometime soon. I have no idea. Um, it's all about getting the team together. Uh, to yeah. do I think we still miss it. Crunk. We haven't met uh, Crunk's uh, Xbox side yet so we do got to get yeah. that popping soon mm-hmm. oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be dope get up out of here but i want everybody to say their piece starting with my lights into their brother from somebody else's mother mr nicodemus x we're brothers we're happy we're happy and we're singing and we're colored <laughs> 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 yeah. Now we're twin checkerboard, red checkerboard shirts. Too. Oh yeah, that was dope. Yeah, you know what? We we gonna me and Nick gonna we gonna dress up again just for y'all at next packs. Yeah, because that's, <laughs> that's, that's what everybody wants. That's what everybody wants anyway. We do it on purpose now. We, we gonna give the people what they want. You heard me? We are gonna call it Nick, Nick, and you remember Rob and Big gonna be Nick and Big. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Rob, Peter, but. Mm. But but we ready to get on out of here. So um yeah, this is Nicodemus, the king of indies, the living king of in- indies himself. Mr. Light Bright and damn near white up in the building. Make sure you guys check out my channel, you know what I'm saying, my YouTube channel if you want some great gaming, indie gaming content, some great insight, you know what I'm saying. Uh also make sure you check out TickGN.com. That's T-I-C-G-N.com. We are back, just like Fame said in the beginning. So make sure you 
you know, hit the website back up. We got a lot of great content, reviews, and things like that for you guys. And uh, yeah, man, Double XP is lit. Always lit. Always good to have you guys and uh, hanging out and stuff. And yeah, shout out to the guests, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Moneybags himself. Gamer Lives Matter in the oh, building. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, you know for real. Saying? That's the challenge, King. Don't yeah. throw them challenges. Take away. We might actually complete them. Ooh. Yeah, I'm the four. Yeah, yeah I'm the four yeah, K no, challenge talk. ambassador. Oh, <laughs> no, no, real talk. You you throw a challenge our way. I promise we gonna we gonna complete it, fam. We ain't we not here to disappoint. <laughs> especially especially if you do something like with, plat- with, with platforming or something like that. With yeah, me. you know what I'm saying? I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm not gonna I, I actually, I'm I actually. I actually gonna tell y'all a secret, and I'm gonna keep it here on y'all's show, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it out. It's it's it, it, it's coming soon. Another one. I mm-hmm. can't say no more than that. I just can't say no more than that. And it's not dealing with weapon whip. Okay. It's something, okay. It's something bigger than that. Okay. okay. So I just I All just right, keep my bro. mouth shut after that. Next up, we got me so horny herself. Whoa. Whoa. What? Oh, oh, me too loud. Oh, me so horny. <laughs> 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 oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. Well, you know what? Okay, so, hey, you know, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, my gosh. Okay, so my... I have to say this. I'm really proud of myself, okay? And, and I don't normally brag, okay? Not sure this isn't bragging. Because I have mm-hmm. such a long list of, of backlog games. And I have literally, literally been playing my backlog the past two and a half weeks. I've completed seven games, and I am sitting at 5,540 5, achievement scores with score with 13 days left. A number two on my leaderboard, and I'm only second to Stallion83, who's the number one Xbox. Mm. Uh, gamer score. He has like a million, mm. million and a half or whatever. So I'm really proud, guys and gals, that I have been gaming nice. to know. Yeah. Yes, Good yes, job. yes. My, my game yeah. completion ratio just increased like like a thousand percent. Good so, job. Oh, yeah. Mama Cedar been gaming her behind off. So I just want to say okay. um, shout out to all my gamer fam, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo. Love you guys. And, um, and I'm out. Right. Oh, and thank you to the guests. I appreciate y'all showing up. Next up, you know, we got uh, she who shall not be messed with without getting a video talked about you by fame and it. Crunk girl. <laughs> you can get midget bitches. <laughs> you know, I'm, glad I'm, such a, I'm glad I'm such a nice person because if I was in one of those moods, it just wouldn't be a pretty day. But I'm so nice and humble and, and, love, and love these games, man, that sometimes that hate that you get, it just rolls off your shoulder and then you just be like, you know what? It don't even matter. But um, I had a good time tonight, man. It was fun in here. I love like this is the, this is the reason why I love gaming and I love the community that I'm in right now. It's because of people like this. We talking about games and people that's got freaking Kool Aid smiles on their face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like this is what this is uh the the positivity that I like to be around. So uh, shout out to everybody who came through today. Much appreciate y'all for coming through and and, and being with all three of us fools in here. Uh, also the chat. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Um, like Mama Cita said, like I've been playing like a mofo too. Um, I'm almost done with Persona. I think I got about maybe 20 more hours. It's like two two tro. I mean, two trophies. Uh, two palaces, and I'll be done with it. Girl. Done with that. I got almost 115 hours in that game. I'm almost done. Um, so yeah, man, I've been gaming it up too, man. But uh, yeah, man, I had a great time talking about games, having fun, and this is how it's always supposed to be. So yeah, man, come back. I think what we'll, we'll be back what next week or uh, two weeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unless yes. we, like unless we play some games or something like that, y'all get dealt with on that drawing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, we do some type of switch up, <laughs> right? Like that. Listen, and let me. And I think I can speak for Crunk just quickly. Thank you, Fame. Nicodemus, y'all didn't have to do it, and y'all weren't necessarily y'all weren't defend, defending us, but then you were defending. And I just appreciate you being gentlemen and saying I'm not going to tolerate this. And um, I, I just you know want you to know I didn't even know you had made the video. I didn't even know it was out there till I think yesterday. So I just want to say thank you. What video? No problem. Yeah, see, you didn't know either. Yeah, they well, they they put out a video on Mother's yeah. Day. 
And yeah. I'm not a female, and I want to thank you for the vi- yeah, video as well. You know what I'm saying? That, that you yeah, and that I both good. had dealt with and that women deal with. And they, they yeah. just pretty much said they're not going to mm-hmm. tolerate it. Oh, yeah. Oh. See, I know. They didn't yeah. say anything to us. Just yeah. put it out there. And then yeah. he told us you know that they genuine. did it. Yeah, That's exactly. Genuine, yeah. So you female, know female are gamers too, man. I've said that many a time. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like my grandma used to say, bring them cheeks over here, boy. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, we, we appreciate that, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we just... It's some stuff that just can't be tolerated, you know. And we we sick of dudes, you know, thinking they can pull this nonsense. So we had to let you know, let it be known, you know. We weren't, we weren't doing it for accolades. And Nick right. said in the video, we we didn't do it to defend y'all because we know how strong you two are, especially you, Mama. See, right. we know how you get, can get at Dennis. Okay. You can, yeah, you for real. Yourself, okay. But we had to let it be known yeah. that before we even let the next person disrespect y'all, they got to go through me and Nick. And that's and that's exactly. a good talk. And, I, and, we, exactly. and I appreciate that for real. That yeah, means a I lot. Didn't know about it now? I gotta go watch it and laugh. Yeah. To get to get to the final uh rappers, um, my lives matter, y'all lives matter, they my lives matter. Exactly. <laughs> oh yeah, don't forget my other slogan. I did it for the community. <laughs> right. I do it for the gaming community. Let's make sure everybody knows that. Shit. All right. I do it for y'all, man. All right, then we got the the dude with the coldest intro on YouTube. Uh, and we glad we glad to have him back. You know, he's he is a fan favorite and a panel favorite, um, along with Game of Lives Matter. The homie, the big homie, BFG. Man, shouts out to everybody. I enjoyed it today, man. Mama Cedar, Crunk Girl, Nick, Fame. As always, love being in you guys' company. Nice to meet you, uh, Game of Lives Matter, because they do Fame matter, bro. Our lives yeah. matter. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And uh, everybody get that vanquish on PC because I already pre-ordered. It's going down. Uh, <laughs> All right. Catch me at BMT4155 on Twitter, man. BFG Gaming First is the uh, channel. It's under construction right now. I'm about to switch everything up and redo everything. So it's your boy BFG and I'm OUT. Salute. And for those of you wondering, um, BLG and Game of Life Matter are two different people. They just sound the yeah. same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do a little bit. We kind of do. And here's the best part. We're all <laughs> brothers and sisters in this gaming community. Right. Always remember that. <laughs> but if you guys are watching this live, thank you for rocking with us live. If you're watching on TICGN.com, much appreciated. If you're watching on our Tick Network, Thank you so much. If you're listening on Podbean or iTunes, much appreciated. This has been the Double XP episode 26. Episode 27 will be this time, 7 p.m. I'm sorry, not this time, 7 p.m. Central Time in two weeks. If we have a a Switch Up Saturday or Fanboy Friday, we will let you guys know if you can rock out with us and laugh your ass off. I am Fame Entertainment from TICGN.com. You guys have a great one. All right. Peace out. Peace.